hello it's uh been a while um you know what's up with the world right now yeah that um that's my excuse anyway awkward introductions are over this is kitty kirishima and this is my third attempt at doing character of the week character of the week is basically me drawing one ruby character per episode um per week because eh, episodes come out weirdly <laughs> I'm sorry, I said I wasn't going to be awkward, and I'm still doing it. But yeah, it's basically, I pick a character that I think is the most outstanding character of the episode, or the person has like the most potential uh, for development, and I draw them, and I talk about them, and you know, it's basically my little side project to be active and positive in the Ruby community. So, you know, I'm here for fun. So, Volume 1, Episode 1, Divide! Um, good call back to a song, for sure. Uh, it opens up with Cinder, so we might get some Cinder development. And, uh, we get to see more Salem and the villains. And, oh, Tyrion steals the show every time. I love Tyrion. <laughs> and not because he has long hair. Let's not get into that. <clears throat> so, basically, the first episode is a setup episode, which a lot of people kind of, uh, call boring. I disagree um because the volume is supposed to take place within two days i feel like we're probably gonna have a very fast paced volume so you know it, it's fine for there to be like a kind of slow setup episode i'm totally fine with that so i had like three characters that i kind of wanted to draw for this episode uh one was ironwood uh the other one was cinder and uh the third one was yang so ironwood uh, things are happening with him he's definitely going off the deep end. I don't particularly agree with the direction they're taking his character, but you know, uh, there is some logic to it. There's a lot to impact with Ironwood and I would rather wait before I like get into like discussion about Ironwood's character. Um, he was my favorite Lost Valium, so you know, I don't want to like, you know, get ahead of myself, you know? <laughs> uh, the second character was Cinder. And, uh, I decided not to draw Cinder because I don't like Cinder. <laughs> oh, that's gonna get me some hate. Um, a little too late with her character, but finally we're gonna get some backstory. Again, this is another, like, thing where I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna wait to see where this goes. So, that takes me to Yang. I decided to draw Yang for this episode because what the hell's going on with Yang? <laughs> There is, like, some sibling conflict for once in Ruby. Like, oftentimes in media, we don't really see a lot of sibling conflict, especially between sisters. I know we have conflict in the Schnee family because they are a dysfunctional family, but we've never seen something like that with Ruby and Yang. So I'm glad that there is some kind of conflict going on, even though I don't particularly agree with Yang's point of view. It is kind of weird for an older sister to just be like, yep, uh, I'm just going to follow whatever my uh, younger sister wants. It's totally fine. Uh, this is some crazy shit going on. But yeah, my little sister wants to do this, so we're all just going to do what my uh, 15, 16 year old sister, I, all of us Ruby again? I've always thought it was kind of weird that everyone just kind of you know, let Ruby be the leader just because she was that in school. Um, and it's cool to see Yang kind of questioning that. Even though I don't think she's right, because she kind of was the one that betrayed Ironwood and told Robin about what was going on. Uh, you know, she's in the wrong. But I like this, because Yang, the character with abandonment issues, just left her team and is now hanging with the boys. I feel like this is a great opportunity to explore Yang as a character because I feel like out of the four members of Team Ruby, Yang is the one with the least development. Okay, maybe Ruby also lacks development, but that's a different kind of um, issue entirely. It's going to be interesting to see how um, her team is going to interact because we have Jean and Oscar who are sometimes given a leadership role. And then there's Yang who is a fairly independent, kind of does whatever the hell she wants kind of person. And then Ren, who also is just like super attached to other people and has just been separated from, you know, a character he is super interlocked with. So, you know, their team is going to be lots of fun, I feel. 
not like fun, fun, like character, something cool is going to happen fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't seen episode two, so I have no idea what's going to happen there. For this week's artwork, I decided to redraw uh, Yang's before and after image because I feel like hers is really different from everybody else's, which is kind of funny because she's separated from the rest of the group. I don't know if that's supposed to be symbolic or something, but everyone else is in an action pose and she's just kind of has her arms to her chest and um, being kind of cute. And uh, the image that they use for her before is also like thematically different from everybody else's. Ruby has her um, visiting her mother's grave, which is indicative of something psychological that has affected her since childhood and is part of her motivation. There is Weiss with an image from, I believe, a character short for volume six, seven, I don't remember. But it is from when she um, fought Winter and had to be saved by Winter and uh, had to like learn a lesson about being independent and not relying on her sister. Blake's is from the Black trailer from a significant event in her life, which was leading Adam. And Yang is just her standing there cool with Swai, which isn't thematic at all. So I wanted to redraw that to something that spoke more about her character. And so I decided to make it about her abandonment issues. And that's what the art is. I was also going to use a screenshot from when, you know, after she got her arm cut off. But um, I don't think that is the root of her character. I don't think the trauma defines her. I think that her abandonment issues as a child is much more prevalent to her character. And so that's why I decided to draw it like this. <laughs> that was a lot of explaining for just, I drew something cool and shiny. <laughs> so yeah, that is my explanation for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you've been enjoying Ruby so far. Yeah, I hope y'all are doing well and bye-bye.